coronavirus video, take 45. <sighs> Thank you all for joining in. This is Yako Bako. Today's video, I'm talking about the coronavirus situation here in San Antonio, Texas. Just a few miles from Joint Base Lackland, where they're holding quarantines at, this Walmart Supercenter was extremely bare at only 9 p.m. Hardly any shoppers left because all the panic buyers already came in and bought up all the consumables. Uh, waiting for another truck, all the employees are just standing around uh, breaking up boxes and picking up trash because they have nothing to stock on the shelves yet. Um, panic buying is a huge issue that human beings partake in. I would never understand this craze because I don't get a kick out of it like they do. Uh, being prepared to me simply means prepare today so you're ready for tomorrow. So start today. Don't start tomorrow when you have the money for it. Start planning today and buy things as you go. You need to be ready for a situation. Here in Texas, uh, epidemics, hurricanes, the oil spill, things are always happening and people are always out there panic buying. It's a huge issue here in Texas, um, let alone the rest of the United States. First thing I noticed walking in was them throwing away, did I already? Throwing away all the deli items and pre-prepared meals up front, which I was happy to see because those foods could be contaminated. Um, HEB Plus is a big Texas chain. Uh, it's basically a Walmart super center, but made in Texas. Um, they were closed when I got there, but earlier in the day, uh, along with a few days previous, I noticed uh, walking around in the store that they were just the same. Uh, lines wait was about hour, hour and a half until you would get to the register. People were panic buying. Uh, that's just how they do it. Uh, CVS was locked down. I was disappointed to not see anybody there doing any cleaning or anything. Walgreens was the only store that I saw people inside cleaning, and I was extremely pleased to see that. Um, this is the neighborhood market Walmart, so it's a little smaller. Um, they were pretty depleted as well. Um, they closed at 11 p.m. as well. Uh, not a whole lot of people left here. Limits on all the items as well. Um, of course, who's honoring those? You never know. They probably want the money, so, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, the next store is the one I'm most disappointed in, and that is going to be Target. My issues with Target... Um, they go back. I've shopped at this Target a lot. I come to this Target pretty frequently, and first thing you'll notice walking in, even though the operation hours were until 11 p.m., which is normal operating hours, they had carts blocking the entryway and exit, which is a huge fire hazard, um, safety hazard, period. Um, that is illegal to do. Um, I'm just going to put that there, but the store was bare. My other issue was online, they said that they were paying extra hours to the employees to stay and clean. I talked to the employees and all of them were saying that they were told they were going to get the hours and then they didn't get the hours after all. Um, they weren't really cleaning. I saw one person cleaning in the past like three or four days. A um, lot of signs about a new truck coming today on Monday, March the 16th. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, but also that's the day that their sales start. So they have all these sales going on that they want you to um, buy all this stuff in the store as soon as the truck gets there because they want to take advantage of the people. Um, anyways, that's about all I have to talk about. I'll do some updates, but y'all have a good one. Thank you. Now, this is the part in the video where we realize I said, um, a thousand times, and that is why I cut and edit my videos so much. <laughs> anyways. Thank you all for your support. I highly appreciate y'all. I highly appreciate y'all showing me the love. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications whenever my new content drops. You'll be the first ones to know. Uh, exciting things coming up. Um, getting ready to do the, to do the CDT. Uh, we're going to be leaving Texas very, very, very soon. And 420 is coming up in about a month. We'll see if we can make it to the trailhead Crazy Cook Monument by then. Y'all have a wonderful day. CDT 2020. Thank you.